I'm Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Durant. Are you ready for part two with Sir J. Britton? I just knighted him. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. So J, I, I was reading your, your awesome blog on voiceofjbritton.com. Go there. Go there now. And this, I, I liked this, and I wanted you to kind of... Uh -oh. Explain this. <laughs> what? What, did it's all what did I write? <laughs> what did I write when I was drunk? Now, yeah, if this is need, plagiarized, you're have some explaining to do here. Uh -oh. If it's plagiarized, this is officially okay. awkward. But um, brace yourselves. I believe you said, when something seemingly negative happens, it is not the final page in that story because you never know what's going to happen in the next chapter. I did write that. Yay! All right, we're off to a good start. Um, I love that because you know. Everyone has slow times and difficult times and that roller coaster and you're going to get money and lose money and, and get some more. How do, you, how do you get through those times and keep going with that commitment and the passion when it's not so easy? Yeah, it's tough. Um, and one thing I will say is as, you know, as well as things kind of have been going and you know, look like they're going, I will say, I'm going to say this to camera, I have wanted to quit several times. Mm. Um, there has been times where I've just gone, I'm never stepping up in front of the mic again, forget it. You know, when you don't book and the clients don't come back, it's, it's soul destroying, it really is. And it's one of the things um, that um, when I've started coaching like, people new to VO is I have a whole lesson that's about the psychological aspect of VO. Because nobody really tells you that 90% of the job is going to be rejection. Right. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing something that's your passion, and especially for me, because voice work is who I am. If there was no voiceover industry, I would still be doing stupid voices walking around my house. So when you've, you seemingly fail at something that's so personal to you, um, and you have to be vulnerable to be an actor as well, it really, really hurts. Mm -hmm. And the thing is just to kind of know that's going to happen, and accept it, and just allow yourself to feel crap for a couple of yeah. days or a week or whatever it, whatever it needs. Because the thing is, if it's really what you're supposed to be doing with your life, you won't be able to stop. It's, you know, it's like Tourette's, I just find myself, I'll be like, I'm never doing this ever, ever, ever again. Oh, I'll just tweet this studio and see if they want anybody next week. You just kind of, you can't, you <laughs> yeah, can't yeah. help yeah, yourself. You, you have stop. to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's so, so true. You know, I've had um, the story of how I got my London agent is exactly that. You know, I, I had been chatting up an agent all night. Uh, I was like, right, I'm finally going to get a really nice London, London agent. Brilliant. She said, email me your stuff. Da -da -da -da. Here's my stuff. Brilliant. She said, oh, I'm leaving this agency. I'm going somewhere else. Their books are closed. I'm like, great. That was a whole night wasted. I'm back to square one. Little did I know, a month later, I'd meet another voice talent at an agency I'd wanted to get into even more. Mm -hmm. She said, oh, I'll refer you in. She refers me in. Where had the agent from two months ago moved to? Ah. That agency. She's like, yeah. oh, Jay, I met him two months ago. Yeah, let's have him in. And I had my London agent. Mm -hmm. So something that seemingly was a huge negative and that I was really bummed out about, I didn't know. Two months later, it was going to all come to together yeah. and be yeah. something yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and that's happened with, with gigs as well. Yeah. You, know, you think yeah. you haven't got something, a couple of months later they come back to you and mm -hmm. say, well, you did this for us. Um, we didn't book you on that, but we'd love you to do this. Yeah. Um, I know I always, in the back <coughs> of my mind, always have that when things seem to be falling apart, they may yep. actually be falling into place. Yeah, yep. absolutely. That's you don't really know cool. what's around the corner, and if you just keep marching forward yep. you just you, you need yeah. to find out you just have to keep going yeah. walking walking along the path you want to walk whether it's tough is 10 times better than walking down the path leading you somewhere you yes. have no interest in As going you know, absolutely absolutely yeah. yes and let me ask you something because you just mentioned about you know coaching for beginners or stuff mm. like that <coughs> so when people come to you you know for coaching and stuff what 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 can they expect i wanted basically to coach on all the stuff nobody really tells you so for f finding a performance coach, really easy. Someone yeah. to teach you how to do character voices, really easy. So you're not in competition with Nancy I'm not Wilson. in competition. Yeah, Nancy, Richie Horvitz, <laughs> Rob she... Paulson, please don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> you're safe. Okay, good. Um, I have a whole module on training, in which I you know, tell them all, go to them, go to them. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I don't do performance coaching. It's all about how you do branding, how you market yourself, <clears throat> where to find work. What kind of work is there? How to grow your business, how to get an agent. It's all that kind of ethereal stuff that no one really talks about. Mm -hmm. um, I do a whole section on demos, how to get your demo done, where to get it done, what it should have in it. So it's all the business side of voiceover. Am I on those modules? Yeah, well, my we'll, name? See. My, my, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how my promo <laughs> demo comes out. No, of course you're there. You're like, the, you're the main star. Oh, that's demos Chuck. is a really short chapter. Just go, go see Chuck. Go oh, see boy. Chuck. That's good. <laughs> yeah. well, Thank you. <laughs> no, it's my like your partner, I appreciate that. That's all right, there, boy. Anytime. Well, 
Um, um, that's good, man. So, so, and, and, and I have to say that that's pretty cool that you actually are offering something like that. Mm. And something that you bring to the table that maybe a lot of other people don't is that a lot of, you know, big coaches out there, mm -hmm. um, really, really <laughs> focus on, you know, the pros, you know what mm. I mean? And, and, and what you need to be doing right now to be able to book work and stuff like that. But because the industry has changed so much yeah. and things are like not anywhere near how they used to be, yeah. everybody overlooks all the little stuff that you're talking about, which yeah. are the foundation of having a successful yeah, voiceover the business. Game yeah. Absolutely, For without sure. a doubt. Yeah. So I'm glad that you're doing that. That's really, really cool. Well, that's my pleasure. Like the only thing I have as equal passion about as doing voiceover is helping somebody else start to do voiceover, which is kind of why I kind of wanted to set something up to help people do it right. Right. Yeah. You see so many people just doing it wrong. You're like, no, no, who told you that? Oh, I feel so bad for you. So yeah. it's like, right, let's do something to try and stop that. Um, just simple things like the myth of like people going, well, I haven't got an agent. How am I going to get any work? And it's like, you don't need, you know, so I love my agents. Let's just, whew, let's get that in. You don't, to get work, you don't necessarily need, don't worry about trying to get an agent day one. You know, there's, yeah. there's other ways to get work. It's all that kind of information um, and the myths to kind of dispel for people about how yeah. to get started and how you can get started. Absolutely. Well, very cool, man. If somebody wants to get in touch with you in regards to that, they can reach you at? Uh, Voiceofjbritain.com or Simple. at VoiceJBritain on Twitter or, you know, wherever. I mean, yeah. just JBritain Google. Peace I'm everywhere. not the guy from the West who does like country and western singing. Right, that's true. All the rap artists. He's, he's getting these emails going, what? Who you come are singing these my band people? Down? Yeah. Well, that's funny, I can man. teach you how to uh, sing. I have a question for you, man. What do you think? Um, well, let me read the question <laughs> first. <laughs> uh, what do you think are your strengths as a voice actor? What makes you. Jaybreath. Um, being English, of course, and all right. that comes yes, very that's a, much. The genetic factor Genetics, alone yeah. Is... <laughs> um, versatility, I think, for the for the majority of stuff I book on, which is is, is video games primarily. Yeah. <laughs> versatility. It's, it's like, like propping it's up. Like, a... It's like propping himself <laughs> up like that's that. That's his game stance. I'm just getting ready to dance. Um, <laughs> Yeah, video games, <laughs> that pose, yeah. Um, there you go. Versatility. There you look. Yeah. Like, Sorry, what are your strengths? Well, Wait, he lost a pillow. Do you need the pillow Posture is not one of his strengths. I lost, strength. I lost my pillow. pillow. Whatever. You've there lost we go. his stuffy. He's losing his stuffy. Look, it's, he's got it's his outrageous. <laughs> Ooh, steady. He's Ooh, gonna go back go. to the UK. There you go, sweetie. Danielle's gonna be like, what did you do <laughs> to go. my husband? He's yeah. broken. I should have proper posture as a There you go. Now you look presentable. Like, you actually know the queen. I'm ready to meet the queen now. What was I saying? Strengths, versatility. <laughs> yeah, versatility. <laughs> versatility is a big thing, and um, an acting background. Um, you know, it's such a big thing that people overlook is that every single genre of, of voice work is acting. Whether it's commercial, you know, I've really enjoyed getting into promo because promo scripts can be as little as ten words. Yeah. And learning the fine nuances of changing the whole meaning of a script on one word Perfect. is exactly. phenomenal. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So. You know, again, having an acting background and a performing background really helps. I did, I did a lot of um, musical theater and stage work. Um, I was in a band. It wasn't a good band, but I was in a band and I used to sing. So performing is all there as well. Yeah. Um, so there's a What'd lot you do of, in a band? I played guitar and I sang. Are you as good as me? No, nowhere near <laughs> as good as you. <laughs> I, and a little bit of plinky plinky gonna, on the ivory. I was gonna say, I was gonna have a duke out with you right now. Where's no. that guitar? No. I can play G and C. And that's you guys it. have a duo. Yeah, a duo. That's fantastic. Some dueling man. banjos. Do you think that having you know a little bit of music in your soul that you think that helps you a little bit rhythmically with voiceover? Yeah, absolutely. Rhythm and melody. Melody, because, yeah, because they're important. We, I mean, even in our in our demo session earlier, just on a, a single word, getting the right inflection. Yeah. You know, voice. Voice and singing are the same. Just singing is more has a you know, bigger gaps in the melody. That's yeah. all it is. So if you can learn to manipulate two words or, or one word into the right inflections and the sing song of the piece, especially in promo, where you just flip from huh, da da. Right. You know, just understanding that relationship exactly. helps. Like yeah, yeah very that's very good. much so. That's good. So Jay. Hello. So Jay. Uh, so Jay. So Jay. You have uh, some current projects going on. One in particular could involve, I don't know, 
Troy Baker, <gasps> perhaps? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. The amazing Troy Baker. Yes. Yeah, now we had to find out if it was cool yeah. to talk about this. Yeah, can talk about this. Because yeah. this is going to happen in 2016. 2016. Yes. So when you guys hear about this, share what you hear. Yeah, Everyone yeah. Talk absolutely. About it. Promote the heck out of this. Go. It's going to be Tell sweet. Tell us about it. Right. Uh, Troy Baker, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Uh, very excited. Um, a, to work with Troy, because, you know, obviously as someone sort of coming up in the video games world, yeah. Troy is obviously huge and has done great work there. It's it's really interesting because it's going to be for uh, virtual reality. So it's all that tech that's hitting next year and for voiceover people out there, going to be a big disruptor in, um, in what happens in the VO world. But it's basically... Uh, Kind of mix between TV show and video game because it's a you know a VR experience. So it's called Spirit City and it's gonna have Troy Baker in it and Lance Reddick as well from The Wire. Um, and Troy's actually producing as well, so he's taking he's going behind wow. the camera so to speak. Wow, that's cool. Um, but that's gonna be very cool. It's a full motion capture project as well. So I put on a skin tight clothing. And you love motion. You've really studied motion, motion I have. capture. Um, so fun. What's the name of your character? My character is called Jonah. 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 I play. I don't know if it's because I had a career in IT, but I play the tech guy. Um, so See, it all comes back. It all around. comes back to it. So, Troy's obviously you know is is the lead through the show, and he works with with this team, and I am the tech guy in the team. Like, hey, Mr. Baker, here's your stuff. Is um, that what you sound like? <laughs> no, I have not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got you a goddamn do you, new gun. Here's a do you know what you sound like yet? I don't yet. Okay. No, so hopefully that'll Did be something we can Did you throw that out to them, like the Gomer Pottle thing? I was thinking it could yeah. sound a little like this. Yeah. He'll probably be a they kind of a, a badass I yeah. hit guy. I could be. It'd probably be a little bit sort of Jason Statham. Maybe. Right, Troy. Maybe. Here's your gun. Something Maybe you like do that. a little yeah. David Caruso sideways, like you know, that. a lot of sideways looking. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's kind of interesting because, again, from a learning perspective is that Video games as well, I trained in motion capture because I could see the trends were changing and more and more is going mocap and more and more is going full performance capture. Yeah. So this is going to be full performance capture again. Mm -hmm. So again, the kind of just keeping an eye on the curve and seeing that things were changing and yeah. getting trained in motion capture has already on more than one occasion kind of paid for itself because right. someone's going, oh, this is going to be a motion right. capture project. Absolutely. Well, yeah. and because, I mean, in motion capture, it you, it is full-on acting scenes. It's yeah, not so standing it's more like behind theater. the mic. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what did you find difference-wise for you um, doing games where you're in the booth versus in the studio, in the suit, the very sexy suit? It's weird, very, very sexy suit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, unless you weigh like 600 you. pounds, and then it's not that sexy. Um, <laughs> Do you have to put on a lot of talcum powder before the yeah, suit? Yeah, oh my! Lots and lots of butter. Yeah, butter. <laughs> you can't get it off if you not got butter. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's it is very different. I think the physicality, bizarrely, isn't all that different because. In my head, if you're doing it right in the booth, you should probably be being quite physical with the character yeah. anyway. So what I found actually is a voice actor suddenly being given a body. It's mm -hmm. really, really empowering because you're used to being a little bit restricted, um, and all of a sudden you can just gesticulate and you can move your body and you can you can use that a little bit more. So, from everything I've seen, voice actors generally transition to to motion capture really well, mm -hmm. whereas stage actors, I'm not saying they're rubbish at mo motion capture, but you're taking things away from a stage actor. Suddenly yeah. they don't have a costume, they don't have props, they don't have a, a set. Um, so other than the physicality of it, it's not. All that different, but again, things things are changing. I've got um, can I talk about this one? Yes, I can. Um, <laughs> I'm doing Who another. Uh, and if you can't, my you memories. signed a waiver. I did so sign a waiver. We are so completely relieved. I get sued. It's fine. And relieved. <laughs> uh, I'm doing, <laughs> and actually, this is a really good example of why, as you said earlier, location is irrelevant now. Yeah. Is I'm doing um, I'm playing the protagonist in a new video game um, called Grim Odds. I play uh, Philip Grimm. It's a new survival game coming out next year. And that's going to be about, I think, about 16 hours of full voice and facial capture. So no body, so mm. just face mm -hmm. and voice. Um, and again, that was something where I, I just came through as an audition from an agent. I did the audition and I put on the notes, by the way, if they do any motion capture, I'm also motion capture trained. And of course it came back, oh, actually, yeah, they're, they're interested in, in doing facial capture work. So again, that's a skill set ahead of the curve has, has kind of paid dividends there. Exactly. Um, but that's again going to be full face and full voice in a booth. Yeah. Because they can do that in a standard recording studio now mm -hmm. with just a very, very high definition camera to capture yeah. your face. So it's all blending, blending in together.
especially for, for video wow. games particularly. Yeah. And of course, the Talking That's Tom is darn cool, man. full mocap. I gotta tell you, mm -hmm. you, you sure you're not from Alabama? I think I might be from Alabama. <laughs> I just like to mimic. It's really easy. Yeah. <laughs> you're not from the who UK, are you? Are you? Do you even know who you are? I don't know who I am He's anymore. an imposter. His um, name is Joe Bryant. Dude, that is really, um, really cool, man. Congratulations. Yeah, that's Thank exciting. You. It's and cool. that's going to be, that's please be sure and update us when that happens, mm -hmm. and yep. uh, we'll let everybody know. Uh, yeah. Yes. Everyone yeah. go and check out, I think if you just Google, for the Troy Baker thing, Spirit City VR, mm -hmm. um, you can read about what it's like. It's, gonna be, it's a really, really interesting story as well, and from a virtual reality yeah. perspective, it's going to be Well, I have very, no doubt that cool. social media will take that and run with it. Yes. So. Absolutely. I love it. So, Jay, what <coughs> are your ultimate goals for your voiceover career where do you where do you want to go movie with pixar mm -hmm. so I want a big animation film uh a video game with naughty dog because they're probably there's plenty of brilliant studios but naughty dog just do storytelling to the nth degree they're so good and that's pretty much it in terms of the real real high points i want to work mm -hmm. ultimately i just want to be satisfied and have a happy life i just want to feel that i'm creatively satisfied you know be your own boss and just to be honest, all I want to do is work. I think almost any actor would tell you that. I think yeah. I just I just want to work. Um, there's obviously things I'd love to book, like a big nationwide commercial or a big promo or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Just to kind of feel that the effort is is worth it. <laughs> well, but, you, you're and you're working on that. I am working uh, on that. We don't want to brag here at VO Buzz yeah. Weekly, but <laughs> too late. Uh, Jay just signed with a very big agency yeah. today. We're not even going to say who the agency is. Big, but by the, time, by the now. time this posts, you'll probably know. But, but Exactly, has, but this is very, very cool. Very and excited happens to be a very, very, very cool. big American it agency does indeed who yeah. happens to have a very big voiceover, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, not voiceover, but a promo department. Yes, so, that's a coincidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was that strategic? Mm, uh, possibly not. Yeah. I don't think that far ahead. Um, Jay likes to play a lot of Battleship. He's very good at strategy. <laughs> He's very man. good. Yeah. Uh, from your, in your opinion, okay, and yep. I want to talk to the people out there all over the world that want okay. to Hello. make voice voice acting uh, their 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 life. They yep. want to make money doing voiceover. Okay. Yep. Um, how realistic, okay, is that? That's a really good question, and I'm not sure the right way to answer. How realistic is it? I think if you can talk. If you've got, you know, an okay voice and you can talk, you know, absolutely fine. If you can talk proper, what? Um, if you can talk and you can act, it's realistic. It's all about, I mean, they always say, you know, mediocre talent and hard work will always beat out pure talent. Um, so if you don't have the best, if you think, well, I don't sound like Barry White or I don't sound like, you know, Scarlett Johansson or whatever, it's, it doesn't mean you can't make a career in voiceover. If, right. It's all about how much effort you put in, how much you're willing to learn and practice. Um, you know, the, the promo stuff we've just done, I didn't just go, oh, well, let's just do a promo demo. I trained with, you know, the amazing Jodie Gottlieb. Yeah, for, uh, we Jody. had sort of at least 10, 12 one-to-one -one sessions, plus listening to a ton of promo stuff, plus reading and redoing all the scripts. You can, I'm a big believer if you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Yeah. Um, as soon as you accept that nothing is impossible, then the only thing between it and happening is, is you. It's just, yeah. it's just excuses. Yeah. Um, if you put in the effort, you get the rewards. It's pretty yeah, simple. Absolutely. Yeah. By the way, you said something that. at the uh, Voice Arts Awards I did. Uh, last oh, yeah. year, last which year. I stole and now I use as my you own. Did steal. I did steal. I saw that I on that episode. Like he gave a couple, time. a couple times and then he yeah, took it. Yeah, but now it's mine. Yeah. And you said, but I'm giving it back to you okay. now. Thank you. And you said, um, you maybe correct me. Do you remember what you said? It was I did. I whatever said, you whatever you want to be, you already are. All you have to do is do. Exactly. Yeah. How beautiful is you that? You heard it from the horse's mouth, and, which is and, nice. And when I heard that, I was like, you're absolutely right. Yeah. You know, there's so many people out there that they say, I want to do this, and I want to be this, and I want to do that, and I want to, and, and they can, and you can, mm -hmm. but all you have to do is do the work, yeah. right? It's not, it's not That's a big it. complicated formula. It's yeah. not going to happen if you don't do the work, yeah. you know? Yeah. If you want to go to Disneyland, you got to go to Disneyland. Just don't overthink it, just get to work. <laughs> yeah. 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 Very, very yeah, cool. Yeah, very much so. I'm a big, big, big believer in that. Um, there's a whole big story about how I came to realize that, but it's true. You know, all the things I needed to become a successful voice actor were already there. I could already act. I could already do voices, et cetera, et cetera. All I had to do was just pull my finger out and get on with it. Yeah. All I was the thing that was in my way. Yeah. Nobody else, no situations, no circumstances, 
just me. I just have to do it. So just, yeah. Fabulous. Just do it! Just do, do it. it! Do it! Nike said do it! Do it! <laughs> so let's just talk a little bit about your process when you audition. And yeah. you're in your booth, and obviously you do primarily, especially for auditions, self self directed. You're not yeah, going absolutely. into an agency. Yeah. So give us a little insight into the world of Jay Britton. Into the brain of Jay Britton. Mm. That's good. Brace are yourselves. you are you hard on yourself? Do you are you a one take wonder? Would you analyze? Ooh. Do you obsess? What do you do? I'm um, probably all of the above. Okay. Um, a lot of it will depend on the audition. Mm -hmm. If it's you know, this sounds horrible, I want to book every single job, but if it's sure. one you really, really want, <laughs> yeah. then you're 10 times harder on yourself. Um, what I always like to try and do is there's like the golden rules of, if you're doing copy, always two takes, always two takes. If, I mean, unless it's so boring copy and there's just so little direction, you can only do one thing with it, but always try and do at least two takes. You know, give, give them what they want, give them what they think they want, and then give them what you might think they want and just give them something completely, you know, off the wall. Because um, that's happened before where I've, you know, done a take and I'm like, yeah, you weren't right for this, but actually that made us think of you for something else. So always try and just give, um, you know, a couple of variants wherever you can and try to be, again, true to your brand. Don't ever try and mimic somebody else's style or something that just doesn't suit your voice. Um, and above all, just remember that it's performance, um, especially with character auditions. Mm -hmm. I think the tendency is if, you, if you're kind of new to the process, and this, you know, it's not the same for everybody, <coughs> but you go for the voice first. Yeah. You go, oh, who's this character? Oh, it's a crotchety old man. I'll do him like this. But then you find out he's a 600 pound man, actually, right. old man. He should sound a little bit more like this. So try to build the character first and then the voice is the cherry on, th on the top, because mm -hmm. otherwise you get the character stuck in the voice. Mm. Um, so always trying to be true to what the writer is trying to get across. I generally will read it, go, okay, hit record, and just, just go nuts, really, and then just edit it all out afterwards, all the nonsense. Mm -hmm. And if I'm lucky, I'm left with a take to submit. Yeah, right, yeah. right. So you, you allow yourself to, to have fun. To yes, you gotta have, you gotta have fun, yeah. and let yourself blow off steam. Mm -hmm. I never ever generally will take the first take because that's the one where you just sort of limber up. You get the nerves out, you get familiar with the copy mm -hmm. and then hit it. Mm -hmm. um, and just, yeah, let yourself make mistakes. The worst thing to do is end up with a Franken take. I think it was Richard Horvitz who kind of mentioned yep. this to me. Yeah. You just do it so many times over and over and over mm -hmm. again and you take, well, kind of like <laughs> the beginning from take six, the middle from take 312. <laughs> 312. And then yeah. after I pick myself up on the floor, like the ending of that take, <laughs> yeah. and then you put it together, it's just, it just never works. Yeah. Right, um, right. Just be, it's only you, it's just you in, the, <laughs> you in the booth. There's nobody yeah. else, no pressure. Yeah. Just, just do what you do. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So what about network and support system? How, I mean, do you utilize that? How important is it? Massively. Um, I, there's no way I'd be where I am without the support of other voice actors. Um, you know, a lot of getting through the, the dark times is knowing that actually a lot of people are in the same boat as you. Yeah. Um, that was like, I think it was a month recently where I just, I just wasn't booking and I just, I'd lost all motivation. And you kind of, you just lean on another voice actor and they go, oh, t tell me about it, man. I've been feeling exactly the same this month. And you, so all of a sudden you just go, ah, oh, do you know what? Okay, You're not fine. Alone, yeah. I'm not, my career's not suddenly down the toilet. Um, and the thing is about voiceover, everybody, with few exceptions, are just so amazingly nice and so helpful. Um, I network so much with the States and the voiceover guys in the States. Um, I mean, you know, the, the voiceover collective, yep. yes. um, which is a fantastic group of such amazingly mm -hmm. supportive people. In England, not so much. I don't tend to network. I mean, I have great, great friends in England, but the culture is very different in, in the UK. We're all very cynical. Yes, well, I know it's miserable, but just carry on, would you? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas here, everyone's, yeah, you know, well done, buddy, slap on the back, yeah. and you yeah. booked it. And yeah, and it's, it really just pulls you, pulls you right up. Yeah. So get out there, talk to as many voice actors as you can, um, you know, pick their brains, you know, be, res be respectful of their time. You know, mm -hmm. if, if, you know they're, if they're like killing it up there and you want to ask them loads of questions, everyone will help you. Um, just be respectful of their time and, they, and everyone is just so supportive. It's yeah. really, really nice and it just, just keeps nudging you along and yeah. keeps you going.
Yeah, I totally agree, man. Right. I mean, sometimes people come <coughs> up to me and they might have a question in regards to, you know, something about the business, like, you know, either a rate or whatever, you know, hey, this is happening, why do you think? And I always say, you know, why don't you, are you on any of the of the, of the the networks yeah. out there for voiceover on, on yeah. Facebook or whatever? Mm -hmm. And they're like, uh, what, yeah. there's networks? For, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, you're missing yeah. out. And the yeah. thing is, because you don't wanna just take advantage, uh, you know, uh, uh, advice from anybody. You want to take advice mm -hmm. from somebody that actually maybe knows what they're talking about. Yep. But the cool thing about, say, the VoiceOver Collective or right. VO Pros and yep. and things like that is that you go there and you post a question about the business and you're yep. not going to get one answer. You're going to yep. get a lot of really great answers. And I always say there's not one way to do something mm -hmm. right. Yeah, there, so you don't, instead of getting confused, you say, hmm, which one am I most comfortable with and go with that, but do right. something. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, because there are some good good groups out there on social media that are not the rants that are just the yeah. tear down the, but yeah. they're actually people that are constructive I and mean, you just have to be I think you have to be discerning yes. where you where you go and 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 the credibility of the information because yeah. there are there are some out there that are a little less than uh, and that's um funny enough that's another one of my big well, probably my best business dishes dishes uh, that was bourbon <laughs> <laughs> one of my best <laughs> business decisions you'd never guess I speak for a living um, was to just Negativity has zero place in my business model. It's so easy to get pulled into negativity, especially if you are having a bad day and you just get surrounded by people that just moan about it. Yeah. Than, you want proactive people, that's the thing. Yeah. Um, so just, just avoid negativity. Beautiful. I'm in with all you, baby. spheres of life. Let's, uh, I we am have with one, you. We have one more question, one more question for you, question, man. Jabe, and then you're going to rest your voice. From a special and then, book. And then you can rest <laughs> and go, go home. I can sleep. Or I've go, not slept you're, for you're four gonna, days. Yeah, if you get together with Jake <laughs> Preston, you're not going to sleep. Jake Preston, let him sleep. <laughs> let me sleep. <laughs> Jay, let him sleep. <laughs> Please. Don't take him out. He's very hospitable. He is very hospitable. Big shout out to Jay Preston. Let, He's being Jay my, is a my, very, absolute, very good my man. host and tour guide. He definitely guide this knows week. how to host a party. He does. He does. He yes. does. Sleep optional. Um, okay, <laughs> give me a number between five and one hundred and twenty-nine, please. Uh, five and one hundred and twenty-nine. Mm -hmm. It's random. One hundred and six. One hundred and six. I have no idea why I chose one hundred and six. Is that your IQ? No. Okay. It's far too low. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a pompous British man. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. If you could memorize one book from history in its entirety, which book would you want it to be? Do you read? Wow. <laughs> Do you read? I was going to say, I don't read too uh, good. Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> Clifford the Big Dr. <laughs> Zeus. Um, <clears throat> wow. I think I would, this is going to be really lame. <clears throat> I would remember um, Heirs of Empire by David Weber because it's the most complicated book I've ever read. Mm, so if I could wow. just know it, that would be a lot easier. It's like futuristic, but set in the past. He introduces about 500 people in the first 10 pages. I soldiered through it, would make a great film. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I can never remember Maybe it. Maybe you do the game version of it. I could do the game could version. The I could be all 300 right? characters. <laughs> that's a lot of powder in that suit, baby. That's fantastic, man. That's not coming off. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, really quickly, man, earlier you said you had this new saying that you have, this little motto that you have. Did you yes. say that today? I yet? did say that today, yeah. Um, well, let's, let's close with it. What was it again? Okay. Some things take time, some things take timing, and some things just take a whole lot of luck. There you go, That's baby. It. There you go. Remember that. When Dude, you're thinking, why hasn't Thank you happened? so much for coming thank out you, here. Thank you, my pleasure. So thank great you for to having have you me. here. Oh, rocking, rocking, rocking. And by the way, your promo demo is going to kick some major mm -hmm. boo day. Yep. For sure. Yep. You guys, we'll be back with you next week. This is Jay Britton. I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy, and I just want to say the only thing stopping you is your fear and you. So just bust through it and go do it, guys. Well, we hope you have enjoyed our two-part episode from straight out of the UK, Jay Britton, who flew out here to be with you guys. So delightful he is. What a charming gentleman. And what a committed, focused, determined guy. Absolutely. So inspiring. Absolutely. Hey, and a big props to you uh, out there, the VO Collective. I know you all are watching the mm -hmm. show. So props to you, you props guys. to Jay. Love all of you guys. And let me just tell you something. We are here to produce a show to help you and let you know that if Jay can do it, if anybody that's on this show can do it, so can you. You just need a dream, you need a commitment, you need a goal, you need to focus, and you need to go for it, okay? So you could do it. Get out there and make it happen. Nice. Do you do motivational speaking? A little bit. Uh, only on the weekends. I would take your seminar. <laughs> to, to, to be coming in, two, in 2016. There you go, man. <laughs> hey, 
right, guys, thanks for following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And thank you always for watching. We love you guys. And just remember, you, you always have time, time for a little buzz, buzz baby.